你为什么会想要帮助以色列，给以色列捐口罩呢？其实我也很想问你，你为什么会要想到给中国捐口罩呢 ？Right now, Israel has an average of less than 20 cases a day, and one of the lowest death rates in the world. But only a few weeks ago, we were seeing numbers almost toppling 1,000 cases a day. And for a country of only 9 million people, this was very scary. But it was during the most difficult times, with all the fear and the negativity. That I got so many messages from you, from my Chinese friends. It was so moving to see so many of you coming up front and trying to help us. What impressed me most are the efforts done by the ordinary people. A Chinese friend named Itzik, a Hebrew name because he speaks fluent Hebrew, has done everything to collect 10,000 face masks and send them to Israel. A video of him doing this has gone viral here. 我这边反正有很多的中国朋友吧，我想为他们做点什么，我很担心他们。其实我也感觉一样的，因为整个疫情大家都不容易嘛。我们在中国可以给给以色列提供一些帮助的时候，肯定是竭尽所能要帮助啊。At the end of March, hundreds of Chinese people came together to donate urgently needed medical equipment to the Israeli hospitals. They did it through the Israeli Council of Shanghai, and these goods. Were sent directly from Shanghai, Beijing, Guangzhou to Israel, saving lives in the front line. At the same time, Chinese friends from the House of Love in Fuzhou and Guangzhou sent many supplies to the volunteers who are helping to find coronavirus in the front line in Israel's MDA. Even my brother and I have received medical supplies from the Beijing government and sent it directly to Israel's biggest hospitals. It was incredible. You know, because、uh, we were having a really tough time here,、uh, but we received contacts from all over China. So we had, you know, Nancy from Qingdao government contact us to send and deliver equipment. We had the Beijing Science and Technology Department, Huafa Group from Zhuhai, the Hangzhou government from Zhongwanzun Group, who committed they will finish all their investments in Israel. They all came together, really, from out of nowhere, to give us. Uh, and donate to us, which you know, it's not only gives you confidence to move forward during the tough times, but it gave me a lot of emotional support. You know, to be able to go through it, know that we have such love and support from our friends in China. Besides, what makes me feel safer is that the help from our Chinese friends helps us reduce our fear of the unknown. For instance, during the early stage of the pandemic, six doctors from the Peking Union Medical College Hospital has connected. To many doctors in Israel's top hospitals, like Shiba, we had at least every week to two weeks. We had a conference calls or a Zoom type calls where we would benefit from the extensive equipment that the Chinese teams had with treating coronavirus disease. Because when we had handful of patients, maybe three or five mild patients. We could already hear from the Chinese about what the severe cat patients look like, what type of treatments we need to prepare, and they shared their experience. It was very impressive. When Israel announced that we're going back to school, Chinese teachers started sharing videos to us, explaining what they think is the safest and best way to return to school, helping our entire education system overcome this post-coronavirus fear of a new outbreak. Here's a very interesting comment. It says. Thank you for this video. We're trying to go back to normal. It's not easy. There's so many new laws that we have to do. We need to learn from you in order to go back to school. I hope we all keep healthy and please keep sending us new videos. And then it says the end. Fighting. To my understanding, in this era where logistics, transportation, and information are all much more available than in the past, we should have had enough ways to respond to this virus. As joint efforts of all mankind. In this more interconnected and globalized world, all of us should be concerned with not only what's happening around us, but also what's happening in a distance. Because unfortunately, this time it happened in China, but it could have happened anywhere. Now, unfortunately, Brian is right. Disasters have and are happening in various parts of the world. I've seen so much in the past three, four months. Yet I've also discovered a common emotions. Of us human beings, kindness. People from different cultures, different backgrounds, different beliefs, even complete strangers, coming together to help solve each other's problems. Yet I also saw the cruelness of human self-interest. 
those who use the pandemic to racially discriminate against other people, those who use this pandemic for economic and political benefit, those who use this pandemic to make others feel even more lonely and helpless, those who continuously spread hate. The biggest reason this video is purely in English is not only to express my great gratitude, but also my attitude. I hope in the face of a common disaster, we try to embrace each other and not turn against each other. We try to understand one another and not misunderstand. Usually I like to express my emotions um, a little more restrainedly, but the world I saw through your actions, through your kindness, is exactly the world I want to live in. So all I have to say is a big, big shit shit. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys.